this car has been a lot of controversy. I was called out by two people who don't have any money for buying this car. I was actually called stupid for investing my disposable cash into this car. Now, one of the reasons that I show you receipts is we have a mindset problem in the black community. People need to see something to believe that it's real. So I show you the cars, I show you the money, I show you the ATM receipts, I show you all of that stuff to prove my thesis. And this is my thesis. You are better off if you're in the income zone, the danger zone, number one, less than $50,000 per year. You're better off starting a small business that makes 1500 bucks per month. $375 $375 per week, $18,000 per year, then investing in cryptocurrency, then investing in the stock market, because here's some research that I've done. Here's some things I've come up with. I've really done the number. I've crunched the numbers. The average Robinhood account holder account size is $1,000 to $5,000. The average E-Trade account size is about 70K. The average Merrill Lynch account size is 320,000. And the average Swab account is about 420,000. Now, why is this important? Well, when you look at the number of people who have money invested, the average 60 year old who has invested in the stock market for decades has a portfolio of around $210,000. 210, they're investing, they're putting their money away, they're they're making their, their, but here's the problem. Here's the problem, my people. They don't have enough money to become an investor of significance. They don't have enough money. They're not in a position to invest enough money where they can actually move the needle. And yes, that is a helicopter pad right there. Someone that lives there has a helicopter. And one of the things, cause I'm zooming in on it. I almost went down for it, I almost landed on a helicopter pad, but I was like, that, that would have been doing too much. But once again, anyone that is trying to get you to invest in cryptocurrency, <clears throat> has an agenda they want you to invest in cryptocurrency they don't want you to invest in yourself they don't want you to create a business they don't want you to actually know what real money is because let's go ahead and let's say you listen to my advice you listen to what i'm telling you in year one you start your small business you make eighteen thousand. year two you tweak it a little bit and you make 36,000. You still have your job. We're not quitting our jobs. We're not quitting our jobs. I'm not going to lie to you that because essentially by keeping your job and starting this business and, do, and deploying the do more principle, you're going to have more money and you're going to find that your life is going to change quite a bit because you do this for five years. You're one eighteen thousand. You're two thirty six thousand. And let's say it takes you five years to get up to fifty thousand dollars on top of your job income. You have a long term emergency fund. You have a short term emergency fund. You have a family operating account. You're riding around in vehicles that are paid off. And you have cash money in the bank. So this year, you know, you've been putting money, you've been following the roadmap that I've outlaid for you. And you have like 60, $70,000 cash in the bank, no debt. And now you're in the position, even at this $50,000 per year, you're now in the position to invest $2,000 a month which will give you a six-figure portfolio in four years. Now, why is that important? 
Remember what I just told you, the average 60 year old with an investment portfolio, the account size is $210,000. So in four years, you will have half of what the average typical investor will have after decades of investing. Decades. Once again, I have a thesis. If you're in danger zone number one, if you're in danger zone number two, you're better served by smalling a, starting a small business. And once again, I'm not dropping eye popping numbers. Do you know that many people, an additional $500 per month would be a game changer? An additional $500 per month. Just an additional $500 per month. It would be a game changer. It would be so much of a difference in their lives. It would create so much life. It will be such a big thing in their lives. It will create economic harmony. Because here's the truth of the matter. Many of your you favorite YouTubers, until they start getting this YouTube money, they don't make any money. They don't make any money. They don't make any money. During one of my live streams, someone said, you know, I doubt these people have ever done a cashier's check for 100K. I've done it quite a few times. I've done it. You know why? Because I have a financial device that makes money and I want you to join me in creating a financial device that makes money so you can have what I like to call spendable cash. See, this is my thesis. This is my thesis. All right. So you go ahead and you put money away in the stock market for 40 years. That's money you can't touch. That's money you cannot use. What I am trying to do is help you guys get to the point where you can make enough money to enjoy your life, plus create additional cash flow where you're able to invest money, where you're able to create a life of design and intent where you're able to have paid off cars in your car, your garage. And also I'm about to go, so I'm about to go here. You be in a position to pay off your house early. All of these people with all of this financial advice are giving you theory. They're giving you 100% theory. They're not giving you real world advice. They're not giving you real world advice like I am. I'm giving you practical wisdom, practical experience that has come from me being in business 21 years and making money. That's what I'm giving you guys. And right now, I feel that the person who made that video, they're sick and tired because you know what I'm doing? I'm inoculating people with the truth. You're being vaccinated with the truth that you could go ahead and invest your two to 300 bucks a month at age 35. And uh, it's not really going to amount to a lot of money. Let's go ahead and walk through my thesis. Let's say you're age 26, 26 years old. And you have a job and you make $35,000 a year and you have a wife and she works and she makes 25,000. So together y'all bring in 60 K. So you go ahead and you listen to me and you start a small business. And that first year you make $375 per week, which comes up to an additional $1,500 per month, $18,000 per year. So you went from $60,000 as a combined income to $78,000. Then you actually worked very hard. You kept your job. We did not quit our jobs. This is a lie that you're going to quit your job and do this little income hack and have all this free time. It is a lie. 
you and your wife you're gonna work hard and in the third year that third year you made an additional forty thousand dollars it's not impossible with a business you can leverage a business to those kind of numbers you can go from eighteen thousand to forty thousand in three years pretty quickly pretty quickly so now you and your wife with her twenty-five thousand, you and your thirty-five thousand dollar your job, and now with your forty thousand dollar your business, you're making six figures. You're making six figures. You're making six figures. And now you're deploying all of the practical exists. We don't finance cars. You you don't have a car payment. You don't have credit card payment. And that year three, you made that forty thousand dollars, and you didn't have no bills other than your rent a mortgage you know how much money you now have in the bank you got like 50 60 thousand dollars in the bank you're in the position to become an investor of significant once again i don't hate cryptocurrency i hate the religious fever that's around cryptocurrency as if it's going to solve all of your problems and it's not it's not once again if you're in danger zone, number one. If you're in danger zone, number two. You're better off starting a small business than investing. And many people say, like, why can't you do both? I'm gonna tell you why you can't do both. You need to focus. There are people out there that are trying to work a job and they're trying to deploy an additional two to $300 per month in some type of investment and it's not going to add up to a lot of money it's just simply not it's not so with this thesis that i'm presenting to you crunch the numbers i've done the research i want you guys to be healthy i want you guys to have money I want you guys to drive what you want to drive. I want you guys to live where you want to live. I want you to be able to take a vacation and not be freaking out because now you got these bills that you got to pay. I want you to live well. I want you to join me becoming a corporate citizen. I want you to join me in becoming an owner, owning something like all of these people in these houses. I guarantee you there's a lot of owners down there, a lot of investors of significance, a lot of business owners, a lot of people living that good life in that big fancy house with the pool. Minutes away from downtown Atlanta, but it's like they living in the suburbs because they have space and acreage. Their kids can walk around the neighborhood and don't have to worry about the snatch a man or being molested or raped or plucked from the streets because these neighborhoods are safe. You want to know why they're safe? Because everybody in the neighborhood making money. There's no need to commit crime. There's no need to rob anybody because everybody eating good. I want you to join me in becoming a corporate citizen i want you to join me in coming and getting this together and building and creating something and becoming an investor of significance becoming a business owner becoming someone in your family that's respectable because you have money you have privilege all right so we are about to start this live stream. I thought I would do this a little different, put this up to influence you, to motivate you, to show you how I'm living. Cause see, next time somebody go ahead and drop some on YouTube, ask them these questions in the comments. Does this work for you? Are you living well? Are you making cash? Because like I said, everyone's like investments, investments, getting rentals, getting rentals. The average real estate investor on YouTube don't have no money. The average real estate investor doesn't have any money. They don't have no cash. They're playing the long game, which could be good. But once again, you want to be a millionaire in 40, 
50 years or do you want to be a millionaire in 10 years what do you want to do what do you want to do all right so let us begin with this webinar this live stream